Roberts. The doctor will see you now. Wales go over for another try. George North has been absolutely majestic this evening. Every single time he touches the ball, something is happening. He's uh, he's outstanding. He just looks. He's, he's such a good player. You can't overstate how good he is. Uh, he's playing at the minute. Jamie Roberts, MD, finishing things off. But it was that little inside pop ball to George North. Just that pass and the power. You can, you can barely get a hand on him. He beats the fullback. I think he could probably have scored himself. He gives the ball to his place and then he had two chances to score George North and he uh, he just gave it up to Jamie Roberts. After you, Claude, with the ball, eventually it was Roberts who was given the honour of going over for his second and Wales fifth. It's just the way he gets through as well. He bursts through half a gap and he's got so much pace, so much power. He's through the gap and then he's beating the fullback one one-on-one as well. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's Absolutely brilliant for Wales to, to have a player like that. And you've got Shane Williams and James Hook to come into the team as well. Maybe or maybe be on the bench. It's, it's a mouth-watering prospect for the Welsh fans. And there they are in full voice, in full regalia. They are loving their time here. I was driving through that street today. There was a, a statue of Riff Raff we came across in honour to Richard O'Brien, former resident here, creator of the Rocky Horror Show, right in the middle of town and the fans were all around it. I say right in the middle, it was maybe just a jump to the left, but they were certainly enjoying things and making the most of all, everything around the rugby and that's the key that's going on there. It's not just about 80 minutes of rugby, there are so many other things going on and all the supporters have been opened with Welcomed with open arms, Lee Halfpenny. Doing well to survive that. Seven, one off your feet. Tackle from Robin Malava, who looks like he's hurt himself more than Halfpenny has. That is, could be a, a bad clash of heads there. Yeah, Feeds are trying desperately to get themselves back in the game by showing that physicality and trying to get up off, feet, off the line and make the big hits. But Wales are just Wales are just too good for them at the minute. and. Uh, they played the Wales because it's, it's a tough challenge and you've got the Fijians flying into you and Wales okay, just more than life. meeting the challenge. Ball is live. Referee says play on. Life. Half penny, or the full shilling as he's known, is back in position. Fiji coming at him but again the ball not being held and again Wales quick to clear their lines. Ivan Balavu still down inside the Wales half. Inside. inside his own 22 Priestland nobody in front of him good offload the second row is getting involved Phillips looking for the run as Priestland spots an opening and Wales oof Referee says it wasn't a knock-on, or wasn't an illegal interference. In this game held to skelter as it is. Matandingo showing good footwork. Oh, they're going to need some oxygen soon. A number of phases they're going through. Reese Priestland brings such a lot to the Welsh team as well because he's, he's played a lot at fullback for the Scarlets. He's, when he's back in the kicking game, quite, quite often teams drop their 10 back and they normally use him as a distributor or a kicker. But Priestland's a real running threat as well. He can beat that first man and make things happen. And he launched that attack there. When you see the incident involving Lovan Balava and Halfpenny. Oh, well, then you see the benefit of a scrum cap. Lee Halfpenny does really well as well, he just, he just bounces back up, he, he got penalised in the end but he bounces back up and keeps trying to keep hold of the ball and uh, Wales are not getting it, Speedy in fairness then they're trying to get, in, get that uh, further into the game but they can't quite do it because Wales are just too good. Replacements now being utilised by Warren Gatland, so Toby Fanatow and Mike Phillips coming off and Lloyd Williams coming on for his third cap as the familiar Welsh song rings around the Waikato Stadium. Seremayan Bai coming on to replace the Bambalavu. That looks like a, an awkward cut, to say the least. Yeah, I 
Yeah, totally agree. Andy Powell Watch also on, on the park here. now. Powell has been a, a fixture on the Wales bench for every game. Yeah, he's a good player to have on the bench. He's, uh, he can come on, get his hands on the ball, works hard for the team. And Wales have got a lot of players who can potentially be on that bench. And uh, it's uh, going to be an impressive bench to be able to put out. And that can make a difference as well. The last 20 minutes is crucial. Slow, slow ball for Fiji. As the rain continues to drench this crowd. But the enthusiasm and appetite for the game still there. And Fiji and Wales looking to keep up the rugby entertainment for the next 25 minutes. Nicky Little looks for the runner. The runner's there. Fatiaki almost getting through. They're going to go back for the advantage. Fatiaki has just signed with Worcester Warriors for the new season. So those at six ways will be interested in his performance, no doubt. Fellas, please There's a few, uh, few slips as well from Wales here, opening up the gap for, for Fatiaki. But uh, Wales are very, very impressive. It was a kick chase earlier on in there, that, that long passage of play. A big kick from Wales in the own training to seven or eight Welsh players hearing up to put pressure on Fiji. And it's very, very impressive performance from Wales. You've got to, got to say they're looking very good. And looking fine fettle as well. And that work they did in Poland, three minutes cooked at minus 140 degrees, seems to have worked the trick. Yeah, it's definitely finishing, uh, finishing game strongly. And they look super fit and they look very, very physical and strong. And there's Sam Walburton just highlighting that. His appetite to get to the ball. Lloyd Williams. Feeds back to Rhys Priestland, and that is a very, very good clearance kick from Rhys Priestland. Forcing Carasoni to bat the ball back. Oh, hint of a knock forward was that? Referee didn't see it. Ryan Jones invites his fly off to instigate another attack. Jamie Roberts straightening up back to Lloyd Williams. Williams has scored a try. Not much against Namibia. His father, a very well-known Welsh figure, Brynmore. Sprung off back in the late 70s, early 80s. Powell offloading the ball to get the attack going. The other side, Scott Williams, haven't seen that much of him in this second half. Certainly had an impressive first 40. Must be putting pressure on Jonathan Davis, you would think, for that outside centre berth for the quarterfinals. He's certainly done everything that he could have done. Priestland, Roberts, half penny, trying to dance his way through. Charters. Again, the focal point for the next phase. Priestland. Can be get towards North Free, but Paul <laughs> Tarver surfing his way towards the far stand. Didn't really have many options. It's great variation from Reese Priestland as well. You see him just put a little kick off his left foot. He's so comfortable on the ball. And it's a squeak, making, making it so hard for Fiji to put pressure on him, putting pressure on him. And it's exactly what Wales have got to do. Well, that was going to be Rhys Priestland's last action because on comes Stephen Jones. It's brilliant to have Stephen Jones coming on. Uh, he's such an enthusiastic character. You've seen him bouncing around the hotel. He's like a little kid. He's so glad to be back in the frame and uh, he's really enjoying it. But Rhys Priestland has been hugely impressive today. He's put that marker down and say this is my shirt and someone's going to have to do something amazing to get it off him because he is looking a very very assured performer for Wales well Priestland and Adam Jones getting a standing ovation as they come across to the bench on this near side and Warren Gatlin will no doubt be delighted with their performance and delighted with the fact that they've gone over for another try let's see who's going to come up with the ball I think well, it's Burns, the man who's being tapped on the back. And what a big moment it is for Lloyd Burns. 
his first international try. Fantastic. He's done. He's uh, come on and done a, done a good job at hooker. He's carried the ball well, working really hard and just burrowed over. Wales won the line out, tried to work a move with Andy Power going down the blind side and just ball retention, keeping hold of the ball. And just see Lloyd Burns picks up and powerful carry. Fiji be very disappointed with that defence. And uh, but a good try from Lloyd Burns and a good powerful carry. Yeah, Burns making the most of his size and dynamic to drive his way over for the sixth try. And Stephen Jones' first touch of the ball will be from the tee. Well, no surprise really, is it? No, no, no. It was a great kick by Stephen Jones and. Wales just look like they've really got a bit between their teeth now. They're ready to, to kick on and they, when they get the ball, they want to score tries. And you just see here, Lloyd Burns with the, with the carry. Fiji be desperately disappointed with that, uh, that defence. He made about five or six yards there and it's uh, a bit too easy for him. But he gets over a well-deserved first try for Wales. Well, for all their efforts from Fiji in this second half, they still have not been able to break the school ball duck in an hour of play now. Little just throwing it out, hoping somebody will take responsibility. It is Matani Talai. Offloads to Nuravu. North has had the finger pointed at him. So am I and by very experienced operator of course Michael Tanafekabau comes through on the crash ball and by there's another more bolt to add to that particular thrust but the referee's going to go back yeah Wales just look like they don't want to give Fiji a try they want to nil Fiji and that's uh, it's wonderful to see from the, that's the attitude that the Welsh players have got they really don't want to let Fiji score and you suspect holding on to that nil will be as important now as the, the rest of the next 20 minutes. Definitely, this Wales team, I think I sense that um, when you're watching Wales play, they've got more belief and the expectation Warren Gatland has placed on them is, uh, is brilliant. And the Wales team, when they've got belief, they're a dangerous, dangerous proposition. And uh, that expectation Warren Gatland has placed on the team means these players are being shaped with a different attitude. They're not just going into the game thinking, oh, fingers crossed, we can do okay. They really, Warren Gatton's given them belief. They really believe they can go into a game against anyone and they can they can win the game. And they've done the hard work and the hard yards to be able to be in that position. And they look more than ready now to go on and really make a huge impact in this World Cup. Fiji trying to make the changes now to make a change to their fortunes. But you can see the concentration of all those players in red shirts how determined they are to keep their job defensively to maintain that strict control and unable to take the ball cleanly if this is play on King Thackenbauer comes back for more And Fijian hands not doing what they wanted to do and the frustration now beginning to show in their body language yeah they're not getting any ground they're not getting any momentum into the game and it's a credit to Wales' defence they're just smashing Fiji every time they're coming through trying to rip the ball trying to jackal it's a very very good performance from Wales defensively Fiji of course without several well-known characters for this for this game in fact for the tournament no Issa Nathewa and hence the back deciding not to travel over Janet Ngovo the Racing Metro forward he's not here either Rambeni Jews well they were disciplined Graham Jews you remember was the man who scored the try right at the end of that game in Nantes and then Malanga Luvignali who unfortunately broke his leg against Touch. Samoa Mori Murivalu Koimai Mbole and of course Deacon Manu the man with the insider information on the Welsh game hurt his shoulder in training earlier on in the week that's why Talai is the skipper. Wayne Barnes almost offering a shield for that run. Scrappy ball. And here comes Vuliguli off his wing, looking for 
the chance to make a difference. Kempezi Marfu. Oh, just being stopped short, that's Akapusi Nguera, the Gloucester favourite. Once again, 